Your numbers are excellent, and we're still on the schedule for next month. You're a model patient, Miss McHale. So, barring any unforeseen emergencies, we should be right on schedule to bring your little girl into the world. Is everything all right? Actually, um, it's just that as we've been getting closer to the date, I've been thinking a lot about maybe having a natural birth at home natural my sister delivered my nephew at home last year with a midwife and she said the experience was really positive well that is a route that many women are choosing to go and i don't want to discount what your sister went through but as your doctor i do need to advise you to give birth here under the care of my team you and your child are very healthy but should any complications arise during labor that might require serious medical attention, you might not be able to get here in time. And I get it. Hospitals can feel cold and impersonal, and you might feel much more comfortable at home and safe. healthy birth is right here at St. Paul's. My cousin died during childbirth here at St. Paul's. I'm truly sorry. Look, I know I'm suspicious, but the maternal death rate amongst black women is almost twice the national average. I just, I want to explore all avenues before we make a commitment. I, not that I think that you would give poor care. I don't mean to offend you. No, 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 it's a serious thing. No, I understand. And we don't have to make a decision right now. So why don't I get you some reading material to just look through and it'll just weigh out some of the pros and the cons. Just take a look at that, okay? We can set up a time to talk about it next week. Crazy coincidence, but <laughs> they found that baby in like five minutes. How am I supposed to feel safe there, Kevin? Is no one watching the babies after they deliver them? No, yeah, I hear you. But Dr. Davro's been great. I mean, don't we owe it to her to at least consider some of this material? She's a nice person, but this is about me and our child's life. We're not buying a car. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, maybe we should just at least Take our time before we make a decision. You want some tea? I'm gonna make some tea. Is that a yes? Oh, uh, yeah. Mrs. 
Mikhail. Hi, I'm Anne. Come in. Can I take your coat? Yes, thank you. You indicated on your form that you're 30 days from your due date. Is that correct? Yes, is that a problem? I know I jumped into this a little late in the process. No, it, it, it should be fine. Just make sure to mention that when you see her. Okay, all right. You have to be a friend to yourself for these next few weeks, okay? And no more Googling about potential complications. Your baby's healthy. There's no need to drive yourself crazy, okay? <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. You must be the young woman I spoke to yesterday. Sarah, right? Yes, that's right. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to follow through. Hold my calls. Hi there, it's Dr. Davro. Yeah, hey doctor, how you doing? Good, good. I was just wondering if Mrs. McHale is on her way. Yeah, no, she left about a half hour ago. She should definitely be there for your meeting. She hasn't shown up yet, so I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. She probably just ran into some traffic. Why don't I give her a call and I'll, I'll have her call you back as soon as possible. Okay, great, thanks, Kevin. Okay, thank you, doctor. Once I went through the experience myself with Anne, uh, you met her earlier? Oh, that's your daughter. She's lovely. It's a real family operation over here. <laughs> but anyway, after I delivered her at home, she was so perfect and healthy, and it just felt so right. I knew that I'd found my true calling. Look, I don't want you to think that I'm paranoid. I realized that bringing a child into the world was more than just a medical procedure. It's a sacred event. And it deserves a holistic approach. You mentioned that you had some challenges getting pregnant? It took us a long time. We tried all kinds of diets, different times, different positions. And? Uh, I don't know. After a while, I just kind of gave up. And then it just happened out of nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> We want to believe that we can make A plus B equals C. When you tell them there's something wrong, they tell you that you're crazy. Countless women, black women especially, have lost their lives and their children to the attitude that we know better. I was in your exact shoes, and I know why you're having your doubts. They are not unfounded. Well, whatever you decide, I suggest that you get the process going soon before you pop. <laughs> Hi, you've reached Sarah McHale. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, please do so after the beep. Sarah, it's me. Where are you? Give me a call when you get this. It's just my husband. I'd actually rather him not know where I am right now. Oh? After everything, he's just nervous about doing anything out of the box. Then let him be nervous. <laughs> you have to do what feels right for you. Not your doctor, your husband, or your parents. You. S sorry to interrupt. Uh, your 3.30 appointment is about to arrive. Oh, look at that. I lost track of time. <laughs> Reach out when you're ready, and we can get your first home consultation set up. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, great. And we'll take care of all that for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. So, 
you're gonna do it. I think so, yeah. She just made me feel so comfortable. Have you told Kevin yet? I will. Just sucks feeling like I'm all alone on an island about this whole thing. Hey, no, I mean, I get it. I, Alan was not supportive at all when I told him what I wanted to do. I mean, the right decision. I just wish we could be on the same page. And that would be great, but at the end of the day, though, you have to do what's right for you. I mean, Kevin is not the one carrying around that baby, and he is certainly not the one giving birth. You are. You're right. And no matter what you decide, your big sister is always going to be there for you, OK? Thanks, Danny. And it's cold. Oh, have I been talking for that long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to sabotage me? What? No. Could have fooled me. You know, you do so little for me. The least you could do is try not to interrupt me while I'm talking to a new client for us. Hmm? Huh? Sorry? Huh? If you were actually sorry, you would shape up. Stop getting in my way, don't you think? Do you know the kind of torture I go through daily? Spending my life helping strangers bring children into the world. I give them life's greatest gift, and my own daughter can't even do the same for me. Tens of thousands of dollars on fertility treatments wasted. Everything I did for you. Really? For me? What did you say? Anne! 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 Get back here! I'm sorry for losing my temper. Are you okay? I'm so sorry, baby. Can I come in? You know how stressed I get after these long days. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry for interrupting the meeting. It's okay, baby. I'm sorry for bringing up the past. You'll be a mother before you know it. Yeah. I have to go take care of something. Okay. We'll talk later. I love you. Hi, baby. Good day. Yeah, I'm just a bit beat. I, uh, I'm just gonna go have Dr. a shower. Dr. Davro calls. Says you didn't show for your appointment. Are we really gonna do this? Feels kind of reckless, to be honest. Okay, what is reckless about researching my options? I would just like to be a part of decision-making process. I mean, we are partners, right? I know that you're concerned, but I'm the one giving birth, and I have to do what feels right. Because as much as this all is important to you, it's even more important to me. Okay. I understand. You're right. I just want you to be with me on this, even if it's not exactly what you want. I am with you. Honestly, she's really professional. Frankly, she's lovely. You'll see when you meet her. Okay. I trust you. Now come to bed.
What time's she coming? Uh, Any time. I'll show you something? I guess. Come on. What is it? Come on. <laughs> Figured you could decide where you want to put it. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Oh, thank you. You're, You're amazing. You're right on time. Unlike the babies I deal with, I try my best. <laughs> oh, this is such a beautiful home. Couples your age really have this kind of taste. We've been very fortunate. <laughs> this must be the husband. Kevin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard great things. Well, I'm glad you're in a good mood. I heard that you weren't so sold on me being here today. Uh, well, uh, I've had my reservations about the whole process, but Sarah feels strongly about weighing her options, so I'm open to learning. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, why don't we get started? I'll show you guys to the kitchen. Thank you. May I? Sure. All right, this is pretty good. The doctors have you on a pretty standard diet, I see. Yeah, we follow the instructions quite thoroughly. Hmm. Well, it's not bad, but you'll definitely need to supplement during these last weeks. And we'll give you a breakdown of my own specialized plan. Trust me, you'll notice the difference. Most of it is common sense, but if you have any questions, you can email me. I have to warn you, you will be consuming a lot of kale during this time between now and the birth. I hope you have a good blender. Smoothies make this much easier. Mom? Mom, hmm? should we head to the bedroom and go over the birth plan and sanitation protocols? Of course. This way. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is the bedroom. You're going to want to pick up cheap linens and towels for us to churn through. One disadvantage of using your own home is that things tend to get a bit messy. I know, it's not a pretty thought, but trust me, lots of extra towels. Anne and I have plastic covers that we can provide for the floors, some basic tests, and counter fingers and toes. We'll call it a day. I'm making it sound a little less complicated than it is, but that's the gist of things. What if there's an emergency? I'm sorry? What if there's an emergency? What if there was a complication with the birth? I'm not doubting your abilities. I understand what you're asking. I've been at this since you were running around in diapers. I am more than prepared to handle anything that might arise. All right. Let's make it short. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you have any other questions, honey? Uh, no. Um, I think we're good. Thank you for coming. <laughs> That was interesting. Did you have to challenge her like? Well, maybe next time. Be genuinely excited. <laughs> Listen, I told you I didn't want to argue about this. If this is the decision you want to make, it's your decision. Good, then don't. OK. Let's be honest. You were going to decide this way regardless, weren't you? Yeah, but it's nice to have some support. <laughs> hey, you remember when we used to talk about getting married, you said, it'd be nice to have a little Kevin running around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know we're having a daughter, but you know, I was thinking maybe uh, we can call her Kevin anyway. <laughs> I guess we can think about it. Okay. Yeah, that's all I needed. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to the grocery store. I got to get a whole lot of kale and something called pink lady beets. All right. We'll be quick because I can't sit here and cuddle myself. You want me to give you a blanket?
case never. Come in. Mrs. McHale, I was worried I wasn't going to be seeing you anymore. I don't mean to upset you, doctor, but I just feel like it's the right decision for me, you know? Yeah. I understand your position. But this could be a potentially dangerous situation. Frankly, after what happened last week, I'm not completely sure that St. Paul's is free from danger either. Your concern is valid. But I assure you that we are working to implement new measures to make sure that no incident like that happens again. But regardless of what happened last week, as your physician, I need to advise you that to give you and your unborn child over to someone else's care this close to your due date is irresponsible. Irresponsible? That came out wrong. I'm, I don't mean to insult you. But I do feel the need to reiterate the overwhelming medical opinion of my profession. Look, I just want what's best for you and your baby. Well, I respect and appreciate your input, but I guess I'm just too irresponsible to take it to heart. Oh, that was a poor choice of words. <laughs> I don't feel that way about you at all. Very kind of you to say. Anyway, thank you for everything, really. Miss McHale, please. I'm sorry. supposed to been like that. Hello? Oh, hi, Rose. Yeah. It's funny you should mention, um, I actually went in today to the obstetrician to tell them I decided not to use them. Oh, well, that's lovely news, dear. Good for you. Yeah. Did you need something from me? No, oh, no, just checking in. Okay, well, have a good night. You'll be good, too. Hey, baby. Hey. Do you need help? No, no, no. I need bread stuff. I think I got everything except for uh, the lady at the grocery store says I gotta go to the Japanese market for Ixa or Iska or something like that. <laughs> it's fine. Come over here. She's kicking. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. You're the best. When you want to be. That I do. Hey, how's it going in here? We're fine. Good. Hey, baby, I'm gonna get some lunch. You hungry? <sighs> Later. All right. Let me know. He certainly interrupts a lot, doesn't he? <sighs> yeah, he's a natural worrier. Has everything been resolved between you two? You know, 
regarding this? I think he still has his reservations, but he's been nothing but supportive. Oh, you'll just be on your guard. Those reservations can come out in strange ways. I've seen a lot of supposedly supportive husbands blow up over nothing. You can't afford to jeopardize things this late in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Just be careful about your approach. <sighs> All right, great. Yeah, lean back and breathe. Lean back, lean back into your haunches. Yeah, oh. that's right. Breathe. Russ just left. You get a chance to talk to Dr. Davro? Yeah, I told her we'd do what was safer for us. How'd she take it? She said it was fine. Kevin? right over. Too high. We need a cold compress. Dad, can I have you go wet down some washcloths for us? Uh, something feels wrong, guys. Uh, it's okay, uh, It'll be worth the pain once you see your child. Uh, Good. Uh, Breathe. Uh, Regulate for me. Mom, that's way too much blood. Going on. Please try to relax, Mr. McHale. She passed out. It's not a pleasurable experience. It's childbirth. Now, if you need to remove yourself from the room and go collect your nerves, I have everything under control.
We need to stabilize her heart rate. You don't think I know that? Give her some electrolytes before he gets back. You're absolutely right. Let me know when you're on your way. I'll meet you at emergency. Okay. You're doing the right thing, Kevin. Thank you, Doctor. Come on, Sarah. Stay with me, honey. You blacked out for a moment there, sweetie. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh. The baby's coming. Hang on. Get ready to push. Push! Dad, get over there. Your baby is coming. Deep, hard pushes, Sarah. Almost out. Push! You did it, honey. You did it. You did it. And, and the blanket. You did it. Cord. Oh. All right. Here we go. Baby's first call. Welcome to the world. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're back in the normal range. <laughs> she really is beautiful. Mother. What are you guys gonna call her? Mary. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, Daddy. Oh my hey. God, how are you? Good. Okay. Well, good to see you, too. Hello, new mommy. Hi, Danny. <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't have any visitors. Excuse me? This is a sterile environment, and Sarah needs her rest. Maybe you could wait somewhere else for a while? Oh, I... Rose, it's okay. I feel fine now. You can stay, Danny. <sighs> I'm, um... <laughs> sorry for snapping. We're all a little tense. You know what? It's fine. You're just doing your job. I'm, um, going to grab some water. Would anyone like anything? Oh, no, thank you. No, we're good. Thank you. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. It wasn't that bad, really. Okay, so when are you ready for round two? Never. <laughs>
And time for us to go. Oh, already? We've already done all we can do. It's your time to enjoy your child. <laughs> I'll be back to check your blood pressure every few days, but if anything comes up or you feel like you need help, just give us a call. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come on, Ann. Bye. Mm, what is her problem? She's fine. She just is really intense about her job. Yeah. No kidding. Okay, so do you want to go to your auntie? Yes, you come here. Okay. You should Hi, auntie. Hi. God, she does look like mom. I know. Hi, cutie. How are you? Yes. It's a big, wide room. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Look at it. Thanks. Okay. Try again. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Hey, Rose. Good morning. I made this for Mary. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good. Well, actually, we could use your help. Mm -hmm. She's not taking her formula at all. Formula? Yeah. Oh. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, what do you mean? Formula isn't in the regimen I gave you. Strictly breast milk. We went over this. The doctor said it was a safe alternative if Mary wasn't nursing regularly. I'm sorry, but you don't know what's safe. I thought you entrusted me with your care for a reason. Whoa, Rose. She didn't mean anything by it. It's an honest mistake. Mistake or not, get that bottle away from that child's mouth for its own good. Well, we might as well get started. Let's head to your room. So, I was thinking I'd start coming over around 12. Excuse me? As part of your aftercare. Come over to monitor, act as your nurse, help out with the little things. It's my pleasure. Hey, Danielle's heading over. She wants to know if she should pick up some pizza. What we have here, but, but you guys go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Good. Did I interrupt something? We're fine. Thanks, honey. Come on, little girl. Hi. Hi. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yes, you're so perfect. You should drink your tea. I 
How is she? She can't even keep water down. I'm not sure what's wrong. Poor thing. Where is she? Over here. It's okay, darling. Get it out. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Get it out. What's wrong with her? She doesn't have a fever. She might have gotten a stomach bug. Food poisoning? Not if she's been sticking to the diet I gave her. All right, well, why don't we give her some privacy? Baby, I'll be right outside the door if you need anything, okay? Just go. It's okay, darling. Get it out. Get it out. Jeez. Poor thing. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll call Alan and I'll tell him that I'm staying over to watch the baby tonight. Oh, that's not necessary. I have everything handled. You don't have to worry about all that. I could even bring her home with me tonight if it's too much work for you. What? Oh, no. No, Rose, that's fine, but thank you. It wouldn't be any trouble. I'd be happy to do it. Wait, are you honestly asking to bring someone else's child home with you? This child and I have a special connection, and Sarah needs Kevin's help. Well, the answer is no. Rose, it's, it's fine. Sarah will be fine. If she gets any worse, I'll take her to the ER. It's fine. Don't touch that! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Get away. Okay, everybody just calm down. Danny, she didn't mean it, all right? It's fine. I'm truly sorry. I'm sure you are. I am going to go check on my sister. That's okay with you. It's, it's all right. Um, maybe it's time we call it a night. <laughs> okay, you're probably right. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow then. All right. Okay. Oh, night, baby girl. Yeah. Be good. Love you. Okay. Bye. Night. Night. How are you feeling? Much better. Okay. It was so weird, though. Just came on so suddenly, and now I'm fine. Yeah, maybe it was a 24-hour bug. I guess. That's right, Mary. Your mommy had a nasty bug, but she's feeling much better now. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh. Hello? I just hope she doesn't catch it. What about me? <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. Rose? Hi. The front door was open, so I let myself in. How's Mary doing? Great. She just went down for a nap. Oh. Mm. Actually, Rose, um, Kevin and I thought we'd like to spend the day together with Mary alone. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah, you know, just give me a day off. I'm sure you have other clients that need you. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let me grab some salve to leave you. Great, thanks. I'm just gonna get changed really quickly. Kevin, did you pick up on that? Oh, I've been picking up on that since she got here. What do you wanna do about this? Comfortable around her anymore. Okay. Something changed. Okay. okay. I don't trust her. All right. Well, I don't need her stressing you out, and I don't want to be stressed out. So. I mean, she, this all is a favor. I feel terrible sending her away. Okay, listen, she'll be fine. You don't need her hovering around us like some ominous cloud. It's getting weird. All right. You want me to talk to her? I'll talk to her. No, no, it's okay. I'll just let her know tomorrow or something.
Yeah. Come in. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. All right. So, see you tomorrow at 12? Okay. Yeah. See you tomorrow, then. Hey. See you later, honey. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Rose.
sweetheart. Yeah. Good morning, Daddy. You want a coffee? Oh my God, yes. I miss coffee so much. Mommy, well, we put a little something in it for you. <laughs> Maybe get you a mimosa. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Christ, it's eight thirty already. Slept like zombies. Mm, I'm really wiped. Mary slept well too. Mm -hmm. What a good girl. <clears throat> Time to wake up, baby girl. <sighs> Where is she? What? What? Where is she? Kevin. Where is she? What are you talking about? What do you mean, our, our, is, is this? Is this what? Aren't you happy? You always wanted a child. You can't do this. You can't do what? I thought so. And I didn't do anything. She chose us, honey. <laughs> We're gonna be a happy family. Yes, we are. <gasps> yeah. I know this is hard, but let's go through this one more time. She was just gone. <sighs> she was with us when we went to sleep. I wake up every night at midnight to feed her, but I slept through it. We both did. Were either or both of you drinking last night? No. No, no. No. Okay. Who else has recently been to your house? Uh, my sister-in-law, Danielle, was here. She left around eight. Eight. What's her last name? Wild, with an E. OK, well, I'm going to want contact information for her and the midwife. Come okay. take a look. Uh, just a moment, please. What have you got? We're going to find her, I promise. Let's see what you got. You recognize this bottle? It was found in your car. What? No, that, that's not mine. 
We're gonna have to get you to come with us, sir. You're wasting time right now. Our daughter's out there with somebody. You're wasting time. Wait, where are you taking him? Ma'am, please. We're just gonna take your husband in for some questions. If nothing's wrong, you'll have him back by the end of the day. Don't touch him! Baby, Leave him alone! It's, it's fine. No, no, no. This is ridiculous. It's, it's fine, baby. It's a misunderstanding. We'll figure it out. No, no, no. Let's go. I'm calling our lawyer. You need to pack your things. We're leaving on a trip this afternoon. What do you mean? You heard what I said. I'm not going anywhere with you and their baby. <gasps> you are nothing without me, and don't you forget that. <laughs> Who provided for you your whole life, hmm? Who supported you when no one else would? You think you're leaving? You're too stupid for medical school. You know that, right? Stop it, Mom. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Mommy loves you. <laughs> and we have each other's back. Because no one else ever will. No way. Why don't you tell me a little about your relationship, Mrs. McHale? What does that mean? Any issues between you two? Any domestic violence? Absolutely not. Okay. Was he excited about the pregnancy? Well, yeah. It took us a while. I know he was frustrated about that and he wanted to give up. But when we finally did get pregnant, he was happy and excited and on board. Was he? I'm telling you. My husband did not do this. I appreciate your information, ma'am. I'm just gonna have a little chat with your husband and clear things up. I suggest you head home in case something comes up. I'll be in touch. It's quiet time, Munchkin. I'm about to head over it. What? Oh, my goodness. No, Kevin. No, you're right. It can't be. Do you want me to come over? Don't think twice. I'll be right there. Okay, okay. See you soon. You can't tell us how the chloroform ended up in your car. No, I can't. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> tell me, is the GPS activated on your phone? What? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to help you corroborate your alibi. My wife is my alibi. But she was drugged. So was I. We'll see what the toxicology report says. Am I interrupting? Stop talking right now. We just met, but you've been so helpful. Of course. And don't lose hope, honey. Even if Kevin wasn't involved, maybe he'll have some information that could help the police. Like what? Maybe something he saw or heard. You never know. I'm gonna grab some water. Would you like anything, dear? Tea? No, no thanks. Well, if anything, it's odd that they found the bottle in his car. 
Yeah, we've been trying to figure that out. Did I... Did I tell you about the bottle? Hmm? Yeah, on the phone, right? Oh. Right. Do they have any other leads? Uh, the detectives have had tunnel vision ever since they found the chemicals in his car. Maybe we should get out of here. Take a walk or something? Cherry. That sounds nice. Shall we? Actually, I, um... I think I'm gonna stay put. The detective said they'd send someone by for me. Oh. Okay. Would you like me to stay and make you a meal or something? No, 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 no. It's okay. Um, Danielle is gonna come by later and we'll figure it out. Are you sure, honey? It's no problem. Yeah, it's okay. You've already done enough and... I kind of need to be alone with my thoughts for a bit. Okay. Well, you'll call me if you need anything, right? Anything at all. Yeah. We're all here for you. I'll talk to you soon, okay? something up with my midwife. I'm not seeing anything under Hammond or Hannon or anything like that. Whoever this woman is, she's not registered with any nursing unions in our state. She said she worked at City Hospital before she left to become a midwife. Well, then she definitely would be in here somewhere. Who is she, really? Can you see that photo again? What's this? From the day you were in my office, a woman tried to steal that baby. Security. going on? Pack whatever it is that you would like to take with you or leave it behind. We're going on an extended vacation. I know you heard what I just said. No. I'm not letting you take that baby anywhere.
safe with Mama now. Big trip, little girl. client has told you everything he knows. So unless you're planning on charging him with something, we're gonna leave. Let me ask you this, Mr. McHale. Say you were... Riley here. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me about Rose. Gone. Come on, Ed. Think. You gotta remember something. She didn't tell you anything, any plans, any, any, anything about where she was going, anything like that? Uh, she said something about a trip and. Oh my god. She's at the bus station. Doesn't leave until 4 30. Call 911. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go get our baby. You take the parking lot, I'll go inside. All right. I'm so sorry about all of this. No, no, no. We're in this together. We're going to get through it together, all right?
you and me, sweetheart. I have an emergency. I hey! Need... Hey, stop her! She's trying to steal my baby! Stop it! Oh, I've already called the police! Stop, please! Stop. Out of my way! I am going to spoil her every day. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 